Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I've got a beautifully decorated wooden bow, faux finish that is, it's not wooden, it's PVC of course, but the faux wood finish is gorgeous. This one I left glossy, it just seemed right. I was going to put on a final coat matte finish to make it a little bit less glossy, but man, it's pretty. I don't know, if, let's see if, if I can bring that up, if the camera will adjust. Yeah. Anyway, it's really hard to get it to see just due to the, the poor lighting, but I think you can see. It looks just shimmery and lovely, and yeah, it's a very nice, very, very nice uh, finish. We've got here a piece of suede leather, and I'm going to stick it on here. This is not necessarily the best way to do it. It's not necessarily the only way to do it. Absolutely not. You can do it a lot like the other one, wrapping it in a spiral, like I did with the the pleather. But this is just the way that I usually do it. I'll show you how I finish it after this too. So first things first is we want to apply a bead of hot glue to the edge. Just like we did starting off with the, the pleather. In this case I want the seam right in the front and center. Right. Perfect. So just push, flatten it down. There you go. Now we're actually probably going to have a little bit of trouble because I might, yeah, see, I'm sort of running low on glue in this stick, not on another. So I'm going to have to hurry to use this before it cools down enough and I have to plug it back in. But then I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Just apply a good layer of glue and wrap it. You can also stretch it out a little bit as you wrap too. It's going to be very near to, uh, to perfect. I measured it out before. What I did was I wrapped it and I took a pen. I then marked it and cut along that mark. So we have a tiny bit of excess, which is fine. That's totally, totally adequate. Okay, so we're going to continue doing what we were doing. If you need to reheat it as you're doing this, feel free. You can either reheat the glue, and I mean do that by pulling out the, hot, uh, the heat gun, and just Heat it up for a few seconds. That'll melt it right back down. The leather won't care. So now we have about that much left to do. Let's see if we have enough heat to do it. Otherwise, you get the idea, really. I'll just cut this clip, and we can move ahead to a whole other one of actually making it look really nice. So far, so good. And you don't need to glue every single section of this. You really could just do the front, the beginning and the end if you wanted to. That would be fine. I like to give it a little bit more stiction, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to plug this back in, let it heat. And I'm going to cut the film here. We will come back in a moment and we'll glue this last section down and then I'll show you how to make it look even nicer. Now you could just leave it like this. What I would do is I'd take a razor blade and I would trim it right flush. You could do that. I'm going to do something a little different which I think makes it look a little bit more rustic and just sort of eases the transition. I'll show you that then. Welcome back YouTube. Here we have the finished wrapped handle and it's really nice I like it honestly you could stop right now what we're going to do is just trim it with a little bit of twine so to do that let's take our hot glue gun just as if we were going to be making a twine wrap handle which is a whole nother bowl of yarn <laughs> That'll, we'll get into that later just stick the end right there 
any excess hot glue you can just pinch off that's fine you're not going to need very much now what I'm going to do is just lay a bead of hot glue along the top or like so and then just set this down along that bead lay down the twine along the bead now I'm going to lay another bead down the edge of the, uh, the leather okay Now I bet you can guess what's coming next. I'm going to lay down a bead all along the bottom edge here. Okay. Now, All that's left, cut away the twine there. Well, of course you can use scissors. I don't know exactly why I'm using the razor blade to do it, but it works, doesn't it? There you go. I'm just going to stick a little, little dollop of glue right under that last bit there. Get a tiny dollop here just to make sure it sticks. And if you wanted, you could go over the whole thing with a hot glue gun just to reheat all the glue and make sure it's all stuck nice and well. But doesn't that look nice? I think that looks very elegant. Now, to perfect it, the last little bit you could do would be to burn off any of the little excess uh, bits, the stray bits of twine. So just rotate it and burn them right off. And you'll see them all light as soon as you get near them. You can try and run your hand along it to bring up more stray strands. But that's pretty much it. What do you think? Looks good YouTube? Again, thanks for watching. That's a very nice handle, and I think if you make your bows like that, you'll be very satisfied.